fault code P0299 is turbo underboost. So before we get to this, the first things you need to check and the most common cause of it is you've done some work on the car and you've left turbo intercooler hose clamps loose. I've never ever seen a Jeep Grand Cherokee blow an intercooler hose split open like they do on the Ford Rangers or the Land Rovers, but that doesn't mean it couldn't be that either. So before you start going down this path that we're about to talk about, make sure that all your intercooler hoses are intact. The most common cause, but not the only cause for it, is a faulty turbo actuator. Now this is the turbocharger off of WK2. The actuator, which we don't have one, bolts to this bracket off the side of the turbo compressor housing. Now, when you're buying this from Jeep, you can't buy the actuator on its own. You have to buy the entire turbocharger, uh, and it comes with the actuator if you're buying it from Jeep. From memory, this is about 6,000 Aussie dollars for those of you in the US or the Emirates or wherever else you're watching this. Six grand is a lot of money for a turbo actuator. Uh, however, you can buy these actuators aftermarket separate from the turbocharger. So you can get these off eBay. We've got a challenge with that as a business uh, purchasing uh, parts off eBay of unknown quality and origin. So the way we normally attack this is we advise the client with a second hand one and we talk to our friends in the wrecking yards and buy just the actuator. So if you're getting that code, P0299, double check that you haven't got any boost leaks through your intercooler hoses first. Um, if that's all okay, the next step, and usually 99% of the time, it's this actuator part that's the fault. Pull the uh, wiper cowling out. You can get to this without removing the turbo. You don't wanna have to change the turbo because to change the turbo, you've gotta put the motor on the ground.